welcome to a quick video on the old hill climb bike. Um, as you may know, September, October, pretty busy hill climb time in September, October, in the UK. Um, so I'm going to go through this, the first version of a bike. We've got a couple cheeky upgrades like one bike, etc, etc, but we'll talk about that when we see the bike. Alright, so here it is. It's a giant TCI Advance Pro from back in the day, I think 2018. Um, that's a stock frame, but nothing else is really that stock apart from the front brake, I think. That's literally it. Um, so obviously, change the handlebars. They're 38 zips. Do the job. Um, then st actually stems the same as well. 100 mil giant SL could go lighter. Might go lighter. Depends. Um, it's obviously hard to get the overdrive to steerer. Um, saddle. We've got the giant. Uh, sorry, the specialized power saddle. It's all right. I'm gonna change it out to carbon saddle, but I'm gonna have a bit of difficulties with my position, so I'm gonna leave it as that for, for the time being. And then we'll move on to that. Rear brakes, Multegra, I borrowed off my mate Ollie, cheers lad. Uh, wheels, obviously MV78, not really the hill climb wheels, but I don't actually have any other nice carbon wheels, um, which are super light. So those going on for the moment, they'll be useful for some hill climbs, like I'd ride them for fast hill climbs anyway. Um, we're going to try and see if we can get some super light hill climb wheels, like 11, 1200 grams, um, and see, obviously that would probably save like 500 grams. I think I think it's about 1600 grams, which isn't isn't too bad. Uh, group sack. Group set is SRAM Red ETAP, which is unreal, love it, um, does the job. Obviously, front derailleur is quite heavy, about 220 grams, um, so we're going to take that off. I'm going to go one by, so instead I've got my info crank here, which is 130 BCD. At the moment, it's got 5339 on there, which is quite a mistake because I'm not that hard and can't push a 5339, uh, but we're going to change it to a 42 uh, single ring, um, so that's going to be happening in two weeks' time. Uh, next week's hill climb has got, there's a two stage one of them, one of them is like a false flat 35k an hour sort of day so we need a 53 for that one. Um, so we'll keep that on there, obviously taking off the bottle cages that saves some weight as you'll see afterwards and also changes some quick release skewers which save like 100 grams or something crazy. Um, in terms of tyres, the back got a Michelin Competition Pro um, which I really like, does the job, handling is pretty decent and tests fast. Um, I think it's got latex in there as well. Front, we've got a classic Rubino Pro, does the job for a winter bike, not really for this. Um, so I am definitely going to change that out, um, hopefully to something fast, maybe a GP5000. I'll just see, literally tyres, I just find whichever is cheapest, and just which is like the top 10 tyres on bicycle roll resistant, rolling resistance, I'll get it. Also change that to latex. Cables, I used to have both of these like super lightweight ones, um, but I've now changed that because I didn't actually, they were so worn that the bit, rear brake didn't work. Um, and pedals, I've got a look here, classic threes. I always have issues with pedals before hill climbs, so I like to change them before hill climbs because often you're putting a lot of torque through the bike and um, I find that often you can unclip and that happened in 2018 twice and it was very annoying and one of them cost me a good result. Um, so that was pretty annoying. But anyway, there you go, woohoo on the front. Um, that adds about 100 grams or so, but it's worth it just for the data, obviously. No bar tape, I don't run bar tape most of the year. Anyone who's ridden with me knows I'm a nutter. Unless I'm doing BC races where I need bar tape, I literally can't be bothered to run it. I can't wrap it. It's an effort and it weighs, it carries weight. And let's be honest, you spend 90% of the time on your, on the hoods anyway. We don't have bar tape, so it's irrelevant. Um, so anyway, if you've got any tips or hints about how I can make my bike faster and lighter, I want to get it sub seven, like six and a half kilos would be good. Nice. I don't know how much we're going to save with the one by. I think that's obviously, I've got Juris chain as well coming. So that will be, that's more for rolling resistance. But you think like we've got, SRAM Red uh, front derailleur, two hundred grams, fifty three thirty nine. That's got to be a that's got to be a fair amount of grams as well. So I hope that should tip our sub seven kilos. And then obviously wheel set, uh, we may we might be going to China and trying to get some sub thirteen hundred grams, maybe eleven hundred gram wheel set. We'll see what can be done. Um, I don't really want to buy them because I don't use them that much. But if anyone wants to give them to me, then uh, let me know. Um, at the moment, I am sixty kilos as well, so we're we're looking good. Um, we're going to try and get to fifty eight by nationals, which is in about two months time. I've lost like four kilos or so this year since about January, so and that was pretty calm. So uh, should be all right. Hopefully we get 58. That'll be pretty mint. Uh, but if not, uh, 60 is okay for the watts per kilo. I don't have many watts, so that's why I'm trying to minimize the kilos. Um, but the watts will be all right. I'm hoping tomorrow. It's a five minute climb. I'm hoping for like 50. Sorry, I'm hoping for about 380, 390, which is like quite far off what I could do before. But um. I still don't think I'll be able to do that. I think it'll be more like 370. But there you go. That's my bike. Sorry for the rambling at the end. I just can't stop myself. And uh, see you in the next one, eh? Guys, here are my original quick release skewers, 118 grams. Here are my new quick release skewers, 38 grams. So that's a saving of about 80 grams. And then uh, here's all of my bottle cages and pump I took off. 
um, and that saved a further 200 grams.